A mile and a half from the crime scene closer to downtown Youngstown, the new CEO of the city school system was being questioned by the Academic Distress Commission that hired him. First News reporter James Santelli was at that meeting. He joins us live in the studio with the new details. And Stan, the question centered around CEO Chris Mohip's plan for the schools. Two weeks ago, he released the first draft, 29 pages laying out his strategy for the next three school years. And this was a night for the commission to respond. The meeting tonight was friendly, productive, but with the sense that they want to get the plan right. The four people tasked with pointing Youngstown schools in the right direction, the Academic Distress Commission, know the schools have seen plans come and go. For too long, um, we've had a lot of lip service about results here in this district. We need to know how we're going to accomplish results. The latest push is in new CEO Chris Mohip's strategic plan. The first impression from the commission's vice chair? Very well done. I think it was presented very clearly and concisely. Now keep in mind, this is the same academic distress commission that hired the CEO, chose Chris Mohip from a group of 34 applicants. That being said, Mohip says that that doesn't mean they're going to be a bunch of yes men and yes women with regards to his strategic plan. I did not think they were just going to come in here and say, yep, looks good. They're, they're, they're highly intelligent. They care about this city. And they did have feedback. I think there's still just a little bit too much overemphasis on testing. The chairman of the commission wants to see more specifics on how MOHIP will achieve his five major goals. What are the action steps we need to take? The vice chair questioned some of MOHIP's benchmarks, like having 100% of juniors taking the ACT. And in an urban district such as this, you could do very well at 95%. That sparked the only speaker from the crowd of three dozen people, a mother who disagreed with the vice chair. I'm just a little bit discouraged to hear you guys want to lower the numbers of what we think our students can perform at. I think they are very capable, every single one of them. Mohip has 30 days to revise his plan and submit it again. I'm good with the feedback, um, but in the back of my mind, I'm still going to be pushing towards 100. And so he's going to be giving some feedback for the next two weeks, some revisions to his plan, and expect another meeting similar to this one in about a month and a half. Live in the studio, James Santelli, First News at 10.